Welcome to my channel. Uh, I play drums, primarily metal. Today I'm going to show you all how I've been dialing in tones on the new Alisa Strata Prime. I'm still getting used to this module, but so far these are the sounds I've been liking. So I'll start off in Kit Edit and show you the drums I chose and the samples I chose, and then we'll move on to the mixer. I'm not doing anything crazy, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you, you guys will see. It's a pretty sim simple, uh, simple setup. So I'll click Kit Edit. Starting with the kick, I'll let you guys hear it real quick. I'm using the metal kick. It's not part of the BFD library, but I found that <clears throat> EQing the stuff in the BFD library was kind of a challenge because they're really like organic sounding kicks. As you can see, I have the dampening set at 70%, attack only at 17%. It's already a very clicky sample tuned it down just a little bit and set the dynamics pretty high so that I could get that consistent triggered kick sound. And moving on to the snare, I'm using the Austin 13 inch brass snare. Here's what it sounds like right now. And uh, I, I've been going back and forth between this one and the Ludwig Black Beauty in here. It, they sound great. Uh, let's see, I do have the mic set on here a, diff a little different. The snare top, I did slightly uh, put it down. The snare bottom, I liked adjusting it up and down a bit. It definitely makes a difference. But I did set the room sound to plus 6 dB because I really like that bigger room sound. <laughs> Moving on from the snare, I'll do the toms real quick. So if you notice, I have three, I have three toms up, up in front of me. And uh, the first one is a 10 inch dub. And then I have two 12 inch dub toms just tuned differently. And um, with the toms, I, th these already sound great. They sound like they already have some pretty scooped mids. And then with the two 12s, I just ch changed the tuning so they sound a bit lower. And then also in this, for these toms, they don't have a 16 inch tom. So it's just a 14 inch tom and then a f another 14 inch tom tuned lower. And then going through the cymbals, the cymbals are a kind of a mix of everything. Like I have Sabian hi-hats. Turn off the microphone real quick. And then uh, let's see what crash. This is, I'm gonna go from left to right here. Space dry crash. Effects crash, I like those dirtier crash sounds. Here's the ride. I chose the, uh, the Stuart Copeland blue ride. And then a 20 inch crash for like my main uh, crash that I use in like choruses. And then I think I'm using the 19 inch Holy China. Not much done effects wise to the cymbals at all. So I'll move on to the mixer now. All right, so start out with the kick. This is where I have the most presets. So let's turn them all off. So you'd hear the kick. All right, there's that. And then I, they have two EQs on here. I'm using the, the basic EQ. It's a four, uh, four band EQ. <clears throat> I find with the EQ eight, you almost get too much adjustment and it's harder to dial in tones. So here it without EQ and then with EQ. I just boosted the low end a, a tiny, tiny bit. And uh, like, let's see, like I boosted the low end 3 dB, scoop the mids, or not even scoop the mids, and then <clears throat> did like a dB on uh, what at 1.75 kilohertz and 8,000 kilohertz. But like not barely anything. <clears throat> it's already a very clicky sample. 
and then I added a compressor. This is a basic compressor on here with the compressor without. It seems to just bring everything up a little bit. And then I added this uh, transient plugin and it just, uh, it's the extra attack plugin. It brings out the click even more. Moving on to the snare. Uh, I just have a compressor and some EQ. The EQ is like not much at all. Sorry about that, give me one sec. So here's it without anything. And then with the compressor and EQ, just to make the snare a little bit more present. And then moving on to the toms. <clears throat> I just have some EQ on each, on each tom where I scoop the mids a bit and then, and then boosted like 8K and 3K to just get a little more slap out of the toms. And that's really about it. Like as far as symbols go, I just adjusted the levels and then the ambience, like ambience and reverb, I change a lot. So, I mean, I can't really give you guys pointers on those, but right now I like for the reverb, I like the stereo reverb and for the default one. And it sounds, sounds good. And yeah, thanks guys for watching my videos. And uh, I hope this helps anyone else who's trying to get like metal tones on the new Elisa's kit. It's awesome so far. And I hope you're all having fun with it. All right, peace.